SSX has always been about insane over-the-top tricks and high-speed racing action, but new to the series is our third gameplay pillar, Survive It. Each mountain range and region possesses its own unique deadly descent that you'll have to conquer, and here are our tips to getting through the most treacherous courses. To survive an avalanche like this one in Alaska, you'll need to upgrade your armor. This will allow you to take more hits and survive longer. The reverse camera brings a whole new dimension to this track. Use this camera angle to help decipher where the avalanche is coming from and plot the safest route down the mountain. Perform tricks whenever you get big air and use your boost as soon as you land. Remember that your pilot is there to help you. So crank up the volume, listen to their instructions, and watch for the messages in the snow to avoid crevasses and find the safest way down. In Patagonia, it's all about surviving those big gaps, so you'll need a wingsuit that's up to the job. These will keep you in the air longer and give you better lift, which is essential since some of the gaps you jump will be hundreds of feet apart. Look out for yellow flares and fly logos in the snow. This will let you know when huge jumps are coming up and require the use of a wingsuit. Time your jumps correctly and make sure you give yourself enough room to land. Having a wingsuit also opens up a world of new possibilities in SSX. Once you have one, you can go back and find new routes and possible shortcuts all over the globe. New Zealand offers one of the toughest deadly descents in SSX. Even with high impulse goggles, it's tough to see more than five feet in front of you. You need to make sure you stay in control and concentrate on taking a safe line rather than going for big tricks. Once again, the pilot can help you, so listen for instructions and follow the flare paths down the mountain. Keep a keen eye on the contour of the track and try and see what type of terrain awaits you further down the mountain. Darkness is your enemy in Africa, so a headlamp for this track is a must. Aim your rider and headlamp down the track to give yourself an idea of where you need to go and what dangers lay ahead. Overspinning is going to leave you in the dark, so limit that. You can also use your headlamp and the light coming off the magma to help guide you through the course. Much like New Zealand, taking a safe route is much more important than hitting big tricks. If you are approaching the ridge sections with lava pits on either side, be sure to hold the grind button so if you veer off the path you will catch the edge and grind your way to safety. Having a good thermal suit is essential when you're facing the cold of Antarctica, so try and upgrade before you start your run. Once you've hit the mountain, the key to survival is staying in the light. Avoid shadows and tunnels as much as possible, and if you do get stuck in a shady spot, try and get out as soon as possible using your boost or grind rails before you freeze to death. Now that you have a taste for danger, see if you have what it takes to survive the other deadly descents SSX has to offer. Rated 9 out of 10 or better from over 25 gaming critics, SSX is available now. Grab your copy and I'll see you on the slopes. Stay tuned until next week when we give you tips and tricks on the gear of SSX.